Hi everybody, welcome to Dave's World. So if you clicked on this video, you're probably curious to see what I did as far as a big brake kit on the Chevy Cruze. Now, the big brake kit that I developed for this car will fit the Chevy Sonic, the Generation 1, and the Generation 2 Chevy Cruze. It is a custom kit. Uh, these are not off-the-shelf parts. Everything is designed by me. And what I'm going to be doing is showing you guys a comparison with the factory brakes. There's a stopping distance video that I took, which I'm going to add to this video, where I actually show at 35 miles an hour how long it takes for the car to go from 35 miles an hour to zero now what we're going to do since i installed the brakes on the car is we're going to go out we're going to bed the brakes in uh, then once the brakes are bedded we're going to test to see how quick the car stops now with the big brake kit on it and we're going to do that today Okay, so this is obviously where we hit the brakes. We were traveling at 35 miles an hour, and I want to show you how many feet it took for this car to stop. That's why I put this tape measure here. We stopped just shy of 37 feet. So the stopping distance on this car with the factory brakes from 35 miles an hour to zero is about 37 feet. So what I'm gonna do is install the brakes and the next time I do this test will be with the big brake kit on the car. Okay, so this is not an install video for brakes. It's just a video about brakes. I don't wanna make this video longer by 20 minutes just showing you how to install them. Unless you guys want me to do a video like that, feel free to ask. But for now, I'm just gonna jump into the future with a fancy cut. That looks amazing. I can't wait to drive the car tomorrow. That looks so cool. I get very excited when I do stuff like this. Okay, the brakes are installed. So tomorrow during the day, we'll take this car for a spin and then we'll uh, do another brake test showing how much quicker or shorter the distance in stopping and power it's gonna have now. Also, while we're testing the big brake kit, I also designed an intercooler system. So I have the first aftermarket intercooler system that you can purchase and actually install into this car. Uh, that's the intercooler right through there. Hopefully you can see it on camera. So while we're running around bedding in the brakes, uh, we're going to be testing the intercooler. Then we're going to go test the stopping distance. And that's what this video is going to be about. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're going to be bedding the brakes. Uh, we're also watching our intake temperatures with my uh, scan tool for the intercooler. So when you bed brakes, what you really want to do is a couple slow speed, slow speed stops. You want to start getting heat into the rotors. So your first couple stops, you're only going to be doing maybe 25 miles an hour or so and then slowly come to a stop. You wanna get a little bit of heat into the rotor. Obviously you wanna do this without someone behind you. Uh, I have people coming up on me, so I'm not gonna slam on the brakes anytime soon. But slow speed stops. I'm gonna to come to a stop this time and I'm gonna let the people pass, which is actually helping us anyway. Okay, I loop back around so we can start doing our aggressive braking now. I'm doing about 40 miles an hour, and I'm just going to slam on the brakes as hard as I can now. Wow. Wow, everything just flew off of my seat, too. How awesome is that? Yeah, these brakes are a huge, huge difference over factory. Huge. All right. Now that I know we have heat in the brakes and they're stopping really well, uh, we're going to head over to my area where I could show you guys a visual 
uh, stop with the car with uh, cones, just like the other video. This is really awesome because I'm driving the car and I'm getting to test out my intercooler while I'm at it. What's really cool about my intercooler system that I designed is it will actually fit the uh, Malibu as well. Uh, the 1.5 Malibu comes with a, a turbocharged engine much like the 1.4 Cruze. I compared my car to my wife's grandfather's car and my intercooler system will fit that car as well. So with my intercooler system, uh, I have a aftermarket wastegate on this car which I offer on my website daveskarstuff.com between the wastegate, my intercooler, and my Bad News Racing Tune, uh, this car is peaking at about 25 PSI. Now this intercooler is designed to work with a larger turbo and the factory turbo. But enough about the intercooler, you guys will see that video, uh, it'll be the next cruise video that I post after this brake video. Uh, right now I want to go and film the braking ability with the new big brake kit. I can't wait to see how much faster this car stops compared to the OEM brakes. Okay, I hope you guys are ready to be amazed. This is obviously where we hit the brakes. I put out the tape measure again. And this time, with the big brakes on the car, we stopped at 16 feet. We actually stopped this car more than half the distance it used to stop, putting my large brakes on the car. You guys saw previously that the car stopped at about 37 feet. Now it's stopping at 16. So I'm pretty excited these brakes are on the car now. Okay, so that was amazing. Uh, the car stopped at 16 feet now, where before it was 37 feet. So this brake kit is definitely doing its work. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drive the car around for a little bit, I'm headed back, and then uh, We'll talk about the brake kit at the garage. So I'm gonna turn the camera off now and I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, we just got back from testing the brake kit. Now, I'm not a YouTuber who's an actor. I'm a YouTuber who enjoys being on camera and I like working on cars and I like tinkering and figuring out complex problems. I don't have merchandise. I don't have products to sell, but I also am a person who knows about big brake kits. So I decided to produce a big brake kit for this car, and I wanted to go over it with you. So this is obviously what the kit looks like on the car. However, I have options. My kit utilizes four piston Brembos, and I wanted to show you a comparison. Here's the four piston Brembo versus the single piston original Chevy Cruze caliper. I have Two different options for rotors. I have a 14 inch rotor and I have a 12.8 inch rotor. And I wanted to show you a comparison on rotors against the original Chevy Cruze rotor. So if you're a person that has basically an 18 inch wheel, you can fit the big race rotor. Uh, this is a high carbon rotor. Uh, you'll get ceramic pads. Uh, this is a iron rotor, which you can also get this in high carbon. Uh, this will come with ceramic pads as well. Uh, you can run basically 17 and some 16 inch wheels with this style. Uh, the braking ability on both brake systems are that close. There's not much of a difference. So you witnessed today that this brake kit stopped the car in 16 feet, where that brake kit stopped the car in 37 feet. And the one in the middle should be pretty close to what this brake system can do. Nowhere near that one. We don't want anything like that on our cars. So I thought it'd be really cool to develop parts for the Chevy Cruze. Uh, I saw a market for big brakes and the intercooler system. So you can get that stuff at uh, davescarstuff.com. I'm not trying to grow a product company, so to speak, but 
If I'm going to offer anything to my subscribers, I thought it would be cool to offer parts that no one makes for the car, uh, custom parts, stuff that's a performance gain, and makes the car look good, drive good. That's the kind of thing I like to have on my cars. So I figured, you know, if there's subscribers out there that want the same, there's a place you can go now. So hopefully you enjoyed the comparison video that I shot, and hopefully you enjoy the products I'm putting out. And I really appreciate all the support everyone's giving me, and have a very nice day.